If you want cheap, fast, reliable coins and cheap FIFA points, yes lads, FIFAcoin.com do cheap FIFA points. Well, check out FIFAcoin.com, check the link in the description, and don't forget to use the code Curtis for your 15% off during team of the season. Big love you to meet your boy, Curtis7. Here today, I haven't come out with that intro in ages, but uh, my long-time subscribers will know that intro. But anyways, lads, there's a smile on my face because that is because I keep looking at this table. We are crowned champions, and today, lads, I'm here to give my end-of-season squad report. Now, for those of you who may or may, uh, may or may not know, is that I only give squad reports out twice a season. Uh, in January, in the middle of the season, and at the end of the season. In my personal opinion, I think it's a bit irrelevant checking on uh, squad reports, you know, every month, every few weeks. It, it doesn't matter. They're only going to grow so much uh, in one season. So to check it twice a season is about on par with what I think is right anyways. but So here we go, lads. The table's here. And I'm going to show you all the stats, who won the golden boot and stuff like that. But anyways, let's get to the squad report. Right, so here we go, the squad report. Now, the first player to report on is David De Gea. Still 83. This guy does not like to grow whatsoever. And look at that. 66 games he played this season. 66. Yes, I played him in every uh, single game this season. And he hasn't gone up at all. That is so disappointing. Anyways, moving on to Raphael. Raphael, again, how many games did he play? He would have played a lot. 37 games this season. And again, didn't grow at all, which is... Uh, very disappointing. Anyways, Chris Smalling. Smalling, he has gone up by one. But again, I didn't play him that much. So I guess that's about right. Uh, again, we go to Mats Hummels, who is 89 overall. Now, look at that. He's valued at 31 million now. His morale is very happy. Again, played 38 games this season. Uh, I'm a bit happy with that, the way he's turned out to be. Luke Shaw, he's grown a lot this season because he didn't grow much the last few seasons. But this season, he has come along. If we take a look at his technicals uh, uh, attributes, they, they've gone up a fair bit. And uh, again, played 37 games with him. So I played Luke Shaw a lot. So I like the way he's developing. A little bit slower than I like, but he's growing nevertheless. Anyways, Iron Robin, he's, get, he's at that ripe old age, 33. He ain't going to go uh, further anymore. But as we can see there, his mental stats is decreasing. But the, the uh, technical stats are rising. But he played a fair bit. 43 games for a 33-year-old. So uh, I think we have got... Uh, great value out of Iron Rod Ben in this career mode. But anyways, Daily Blind. Um, again, his stats have gone up by one. He's 82 overall by now. And again, played 37 games with him. Played a lot with Daily Blind. So he's coming along nicely. Uh, Ander Herrera uh, played 35 games with him. And he hasn't grown at all. A few technical stats there. But I'd like to say that's a little bit disappointing there. Because I think he's, he's a great midfielder to use. Uh, 35 games, he should be going up by at least by one, but uh, not to be going up at all is a bit disappointing. Alright, and now Di Maria, who played 43 games for us, and uh, 9 goals, 6 assists. He had an okay season, his morale is very happy, but he didn't have as good as a season as he did last season, so... Uh, not growing at all, I think is about right. 89 overall, uh, age of 29. I think that's about on par of what he of a season he had. But anyways, getting on to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney, 31 games. He was injured a lot this season for us. But he's very happy. He's our captain. But as we can see, the physical stats are starting to decrease. And uh, being at the age of 31 now, I think Wayne Rooney is about to plummet. Uh, I think so, anyways. But uh, anyways, getting on to Cristiano Ronaldo. His stats have gone up by one. Look at that. He's at form excellent. Morale very happy. Technical stats rising. He's 32 years of age and he is still rising. He played 30 games for us. That's that's 30 games from January when we got him halfway through the season. So, uh, mate, that's a fair, fair effort. And, uh, yeah, so, mate, 94... I don't think he's going to be going up anymore. I think he's reached his limit now. I could be wrong. Who knows? But um, I would only know if he played one more season, wouldn't we? Anyways, getting on to Adnan Yanize, who has gone up by one. Again, I didn't really use him much this season. Wow, 40 games, all right? More than I thought he would. Uh, but I think a lot of those games were coming off the bench. Uh, not really starting. Because having Di Maria 
having Robin and bringing in Ronaldo, I knew it would kill uh, Adnan, uh, his uh, development in this career mode, not playing him that much as I wanted to. But look at that, he's going up by one. He's very happy. He's only 22 years of age. And to be honest, if I was to do another season on this career mode, I would probably... Uh, make him be a starter and probably sell Iron Robin and get the money and spend it elsewhere. But anyways, getting on to Javier Hernandez. Hernandez, we got him back from Madrid. Again, very similar to Adnan Yanaze, a lot off the bench there. He's growing still. He's 29 years of age, but uh, I think now he's going to decline. Look at Morel threatened. He's not a starter. He knows he's definitely not going to be starting with us. So 33 um, games for us this season. He's a great player to have the, uh, off the bench. I'm really happy with him. And there's Maron Fellaini. Another player I didn't use that much. Again, he played a lot of Capital One Cup games and not important games in the Premier League. Did a lot of cameo roles. I wish there was a stat in FIFA. Hopefully they bring in for FIFA 16 where you can see how many games they actually played and how many games they actually played off the bench and how many games did they actually start. That's something I hope they bring into FIFA 16. But again, 37 games. I reckon he probably played, started probably about 15 of those, so not that many. But uh, again, Fellaini, I'd probably look to move him on if I was to stay another season. Uh, Marcus Rojo, this guy is brilliant to use. Look, I only played 25 games with him, but they were pretty much all starters, and he was fantastic to use. 80 at the age of 27, I would have liked him to grow in a little bit more. Not growing at all is a bit disappointing. Ross Barkley, Rock, Ross Barkley played 32 games with Ross, by far his best season with us. I thought he was fantastic, but as we take a look, he has not grown at all, and that is so, so disappointing. Still at the end, you know, he's only 23 years of age, so he's got plenty of time to grow, but I think he should have been grown at least, at least by one minimum, but really, I think he had a fantastic season for us. As you can see, four goals, five assists, not the best, but just in general play, he is much better for us this season than he was the first two seasons. Anyways, getting on to Karim Benzema, again... 33 uh, uh, games this season. It's not that much. Uh, he's gone up by one. He scored, what, 12 goals for us, two assists, and he's gone up by one overall. 29 years of age. I'd say that's a pass. I think, I'd say that's, you know, technical skills have gone up there. I'd say that's all right. Uh, Nani, he was, uh, he was fantastic for us this season. 22 games, some of those off the bench, 11 goals. That's one game in every two starts, or every two games, for us to say. 11 goals, 1 assist, he scored 4 in 1 game, and uh, a lot of those 22 games would have been uh, off the bench as well, so, you know, being 30 years of age, not playing every game, he ain't going to grow, so I think that's a fair stat on Nani with his attributes there. Tom Thorpe didn't play him much, uh, didn't play him at all. <laughs> Alright, Sam Johnson, a lot of these players now I probably wasn't using a lot. As you can see, he didn't play in there. John Stones, I only played the one game with Stones. Work this out, one game with John Stones. But that's because I had a lot of defenders. Smalling, Jones, Hummels. You know, we had Martins Indy, which I didn't play that much either. John Stones, played him once, as you can see there. Gone up by three overall. This guy is a beast on career mode. Highly recommend him. It's just a shame that I signed him in this career mode. I should have signed him on another career mode. Uh, you know, if you're doing a lower team or something like, you know, QPR or something like that, John Stones would be someone perfect to have in your squad. Uh, anyways, getting on to Tyler Blackett. Don't think I used him at all. Uh, he was on loan. I know he just came back, but he didn't go up at all. Uh, Bruno Martins Indy. Look at that. Now, I got him for backup just in case uh, my defenders, my first team defenders, got injured. And I thought he was a good signing, but I only played the three games with him. I should have played him a little bit more, but, you know, what can I do? Can't play everyone, yeah? Simeo Scafe didn't play him whatsoever. Made David De Gea play every single game, thinking that was going to make De Gea grow. This guy plays no games and he goes up by one, you know, but Simeone Scafe, again, he, he would have been perfect for another different type of career mode. Look at that, he's going up and he hasn't even been playing and he's only 21 years of age. He's unhappy, I would probably sell this guy too if I was to stay on through this career mode. Valera, I think he was out on loan uh, and then he came back again, but again, I didn't use him much, he went up by three. James Wilson, I played a few games of Wilson last season, not so much this season. Only the four games, he didn't grow. I should really look be looking to put him out on loan. 
Uh, Reese James, again, didn't play him at all, but he's gone up by two overall, so you've got to be happy with that. Jesse Lingard, I played him a fair few times last season as well. Didn't play much this time as well. Five games, as you can see, their technical skills going up. He would be a gem to use, but being at the age of 24, you would probably want him being closer to 80 overall than 74. But anyways, good player. Wilfred Zaha. Uh, 12 games for us this season, um, played Nani more than I played Zaha. I think him leaving United in real life really put me off using him in career mode, so disappointing there. But as you can see, lads, 20, uh, 79 overall, went up by one. His morale is very happy, and if I, again, if I was to stay in this career mode, I'd probably sell Zaha. Uh, Phil Jones, 41 games with Phil Jones. Start off the season, uh, Phil Jones was my number one pairing with uh, Hummels, he's gone up by two, 25 years of age, he is coming along nicely, Phil Jones, I'm happy with his growth, alright, getting on to Nathaniel Klein, this guy was an amazing right back, 30 games for us as a second choice right back, unbelievable, but in saying that, 30 games, he didn't grow at all, I know he's very happy, but... Being at the age of 26, I was at least hoping he would push, you know, one or two stats going up. So that's dis uh, disappointing there. Uh, Victor Wanyama, he was injured a lot this season. A lot. And uh, when he played for us, he was good. But eight games, one goal, and uh, two assists. So uh, I think, I can't remember how long he was out for, but we're talking months he was out for. A very, very long time. And he started to decrease, which is a, sh a shame. 77 overall. Very disappointing there. Again, if I was to stay in this career mode, I would probably keep him. I don't know, unless we've got any good offers. I'm not too sure. Uh, Pjanic, again, another midfielder that was injured a lot this season. I spent a lot of money on him. Uh, I really, really wanted him. But in saying that, he was, I would say, a bit of a disappointment. Considering the fact how much he was injured. Only played 19 games for us this season. One goal, two assists. For a player who's worth that much, you would want a lot more out of him. But as you can see, his technical stats going up and his physical stats are starting to decrease. I'd probably push him on uh, if I was to stay in this preseason. Fabio Cohen Trail, uh, great backup to Luke Shaw there. 29 games, played a lot of games, and being at the age of 29 and not starting every game, I think that's fair that he hasn't grown. Um, but he was great to our team anyways, but anyways getting on to Alex Song. Alex Song I played a fair bit 27 games uh, Definitely not uh, a starter in the midfield, but he was a great great backup in the midfield or us probably one of my Best signings in his career mode. So so happy that we got him uh, Joe Rothwell. He was on loan I uh, got him back Andres Pereira who's killing it in the under 21s World Cup or under 20s whatever it is. He had a great uh, campaign with Brazil uh, Nicky Powell, he was out on loan, but look at that bad form, so I'd probably sell Nick Powell. Will Keane, as we can see there, Michael Keane, Nick, uh, Manik Vanell, and there we go, lads. That is the squad report. Right, so when it comes to the Golden Boot winner, as you can see, Soldado won the Golden Boot in the Premier League with 17 goals. When's the last time a Golden Boot winner won it with only 17 goals? Honestly, come on EA Sports. EA Sports, you need to put the goals in the range of, you know, mid-20s to early 30s. Because that's where, realistically, the Golden Boot is won. Not in the 17 margin. Look at 15, 17. No, you need to bump that up. And you need to have realistic strikers winning the Golden Boot. Is Soldado ever going to win the Golden Boot? I don't think so. Hooper for QPR, no disrespect to these players, but they're never going to win the Golden Boot. You know, put your Agueros up there, put your Harry Kanes up there, you know, Christian Bentekes, Lukaku's, you know, get your big strikers, Giroud, put these kind of players up there. You know, not your bloody Jelovic's and uh, Gary Hoopers and Soldados, you know, it frustrates me. But as we can see there, Ronaldo, our player, was our top scorer with 10, and that was from January. So if he had to play the whole season, he probably would have won the Golden Boot. Now, when it comes to the assists, Lalana from Liverpool won that, and Alex Song 
won our most assists for Manchester United. And when it comes to the clean sheets, David De Gea absolutely rumped it in. Look at that, 19 clean sheets. That is half, that's every second game he's getting a clean sheet. That is an unbelievable stat. Now when it comes to the yellow cards, Taylor from Swansea wins that one. But funnily enough, lads, Johnny Evans, who we sold to West Brom, got the most red cards this season with four. Now when we're talking about that Champions League, we've got the Golden Boot winner here. It was actually tied with Cristiano Ronaldo with us, uh, Thomas Muller and Julian Draxler with all seven goals apiece. It's a shame we couldn't get Ronaldo an extra goal, really. Anyways, moving on to our assists. Perez for Benfica, got five there. Ronaldo was the best for our team with three. Now when it comes to clean sheets, De Gea came third with uh, six clean sheets, but a black from Atletico Madrid takes that out with seven. Yellow cards, PK from uh, Barcelona takes that out. And when it comes to red cards, Gary Cahill takes that out from Chelsea. Interesting. And also, lads, when it comes to the transfer and wage budget, all the prizes we got from winning the league, winning the Champions League and the FA Cup, doing the treble, we are left with a new transfer budget of £37.5 million. And it's a good wage budget as well. So if I was to continue this career mode, that is the kind of budget we're looking at. Even though when you go to a new season, that a lot of that's going to go anyways. Now, I just just got an email from the Premier League and they have said congratulations Mr. Curtis Seven we're glad to inform you that due to your excellent performance at Manchester United you have won the manager of the season award congratulations once more very well deserved so lads we've done it manager of the season and the treble now, just in case you were wondering who was player of the season it was Hull City's Jelovic don't blame me, it's EA Sports. <laughs> and there we go, lads. We have come to the end of the season. So, and here we go, lads. The end of the season. I just want to give a special thanks to all you guys, the Seven Army, for liking all my videos, for watching, for subscribing, enjoying yourselves. I just want, I, I can't thank you guys enough. I really hope you enjoyed this series. I know I've enjoyed making this series for you. It's been a long time since uh, we started this series. Uh, we've come a long way from the very start. Three seasons. Now we're leaving treble winners. Manager of the season award. I don't think there's too much uh, that I can achieve more by doing this career mode. So uh, I just want to say thank you guys for everything. And don't forget to follow me on all those wonderful social media accounts. Which you guys can find in the link in the description. But anyways, I've been your boy Curtis 7. Stay tuned for a brand new career mode series. <laughs> Take care. Peace. If your girlfriend liked Man City, what would you do? Oh! Do you think that Manchester United can win the Premier League? Yeah, <laughs> of course, mate. A hundred percent. We are going to be lifting up that trophy in no time. Just, just not this season. Hopefully the next one we can do it. Just not this one.